Can a monster 310 mile automated cargo conveyor replace 25,000 trucks? You can now count on it through a managed and monitored automated conveyor model. Are you all ready to learn about this occurrence in Japan? A 310-mile automated conveyor belt system called the Autoflow Road. Interestingly, Japan aims to do so by structuring a Tokyo-Osaka automated logistics system with conveyor belts, or small autonomous carts, for cargo mobility. Experts have been in discussion since February and forecast to establish a complete link of a network of high-tech automated conveyor belts to transport the goods to 310 miles or 500 kilometers by 2034 between Tokyo and Osaka. By looking at such a concept, various thoughts might buzz about how fast the world is shifting to a laborless working style. The shift to a driverless zero emissions alternative to 25,000 delivery trucks though seems efficient for making a smooth movement of millions of tons of cargo. The idea is to use massive conveyor belts to tunnel under the significant highways of Japan's two largest cities and to have a ground track in the middle of the roads. Also, the professionals view that incorporating the extra tracks can be a part of the motorways to take it to the next level. The big problem the country is facing is its rapidly aging population. It addresses the crisis due to the delivery, driver shortage, and increasing freight demands there's an expected fall in delivery and driver shortage. Also, the estimations reflect that there will be a fall from 660,000 in 2020 to 480,000 by 2030, a 36% deficiency. The Nomura Research Institute reports that Japan's conventional freight traffic was almost 1.43 billion tons in 2020, which would decrease to 1.4 billion tons in 2030, which indicates an exceptional decision to integrate a conveyor belt. Japan also believes such an action can help reduce gas emissions and enhance high, medium, and low-end space, tunnels, and roads that would function 24 hours a day, with pallets sustaining one ton of cargo by taking the place and piece of work of 25,000 drivers. Just imagine a 310-mile, 500-kilometer tunnel. It's functioning, the infrastructural requirements, and the technology would be out of the box, holding up great potential ahead. This project can also add massively to the economic perspective. It would help maintain a reliable cargo transport system, enhancing the industries. There will be a reduction in the shipping prices. It will open up opportunities in other dealings, such as tech, infrastructure, and system operations for consumers and businesses of any size. Such a design will offer a competitive edge in the long term, locally and globally. Similarly, the environmental aspect is also there. The way Japan looks to a clean and green environment will benefit in plenty of ways through such an auto flow road project. First, shifting to automated conveyor belts from trucks is a clear step towards sustainable practices that reduce diesel consumption, which is the primary cause of carbon emissions and pollutes the air. The proficient use of infrastructure material adds value to Japan's environment-based goals. Well, challenges are always present where there is convenience on one side. Challenges can be related to impact, integration, process, and awareness. As promoting the zero-carbon approach, there's likely to be a concern about using environmentally friendly material. Proper awareness, traffic management, and planning are essential to deliver during the construction. Similarly, unwelcome weather conditions are also a fear. Besides, the cost is a significant challenge for such massive, high-capacity auto-flow road projects. Still, the completion by 2034 requires a mix of public and private investments to create a fruitful project. Several countries are working on similar projects, including China, Switzerland, and the Netherlands. China is developing an urban underground logistics system in Beijing and Shanghai that uses automated guided vehicles and conveyor belts to transfer goods with the help of a broad underground tunnel network to maintain logistics efficiency and reduce surface traffic congestion over the upcoming years. Similarly, Switzerland's cargo SUS train will create a 310-mile network of underground tunnels for cargo transport, even in smaller tunnels, to connect all major cities, including Zurich, Basel, and Geneva, in the coming years. At the same time, the Netherlands will direct the underground freight transport system with an ultimate focus on large diameter tunnels in connection with the urban-based linkages with the help of conveyor belts and AGVs in the future. However, Japan is different inclined toward a single critical corridor. Indeed, for a society, sustainability is vital to environmental, economic, and social prospects. On the one hand, there's a need for actions, plans, and procedures 
in creating long-term financial benefits and development. There's a need to simultaneously maintain the other aspects, including environmental, social, and different visual aspects. In this way, it is a huge responsibility to fulfill the requirements of the future generation today. When we look at Japan, such an initiative possesses a mix of issues, including technical, logistical, and environmental hazards. Japan maintains a highly developed physical infrastructure, including roads, highways, railways, subways, and so on. Observers consider that Japan comprises logistics that blend automation, efficiency, and a green mode of action. Yet, projecting a lower carbon dioxide level is an enormous contribution that Japan envisions toward improving air quality and reducing the ecological footprints of the logistics industry by becoming a sustainable representative, which will be a win-win situation by all means. The new ways increase efficiency and ideally promote sustainability, and as such, this project will handle the country's transportation issues and strengthen its technological presence worldwide. If this project is prosperous, it will be a perfect example for the countries to learn and develop strategies that are lacking in logistical and environmental challenges. So what do you think about all this? How do you look at such a project and its logistics system? Is it the right step for Japan? Are you amazed by such arrangements happening across the globe? Will this bring a complete turn in Japan? In the comments section below, let us know your point of view in such automated cargo conveyors.